Hey there, it's Erin with Time Saving Templates, and today I'm going to be going over a quick Excel tip on how to add a visual to one of your Excel files. We're going to be going over how to add these bars in where you can show percentage above or below. And so that's what I'm going to be going over today is how to add this information in. If you are in HR or compensation, check out last week's video where I went over this whole spreadsheet template with salary increase recommendations. And I went over the actual formula for position and range. And so that's the column that we're using. We already have this formula populated and it's giving us a percentage. You can use this tip to add the bars in for any type of file where you have a percentage in the cells and you're wanting to highlight, you know, the percentage above or below a number. There's different ways you can do this. I believe you can use it, which is regular numbers too. It doesn't have to be a percentage but this is what we're using in the example. So let me get the other file open. Okay, so we are wanting to add a visual into this column R, which is telling us position and range. This means basically it's the, the recommended new salary increase where that salary falls within the min and the max of the salary range. So what you can do is just a conditional formatting you would highlight the column you want to add the bars into, go to home, conditional formatting, and we're going to go to data bars and you can pick out data bars. It's going to show a different preview as you click on each one. So you can pick out which color I'm going to go with the green. Okay. So when I first select it, it is automatically starting at the left of the cell and the bar, you know, is longer or shorter based on the percentage in that cell. We want to edit this a little bit for our purposes. Say that we had a negative percentage. The position and range formula would give us a negative if the salary is below the salary range minimum. So I'm just gonna put, just for this example, I'm gonna put something below this salary range. And so you'll see it's getting, now it's gonna give us a red. If I highlight this column and I go back to conditional formatting, manage cell rules, one thing we can do is edit rule. You'll see how it's set up here. We have the option to to change this to show the bar only and not show a percentage. Also, you can click on negative value and axis, and this is where it was preset to show red for a negative. That's in case yours doesn't have a different color when it turns negative, you can change that here, or you can change the color of the negative here to something else. I also like to look at the axis settings. So it's automatically gonna display based on the value. So if we, when we don't have that negative number, everything starts at, at the left. When we added the negative, then it scoots that, that bar a little bit over. We can also select cell midpoint. There's also none show negative value bars in the same direction as positive. I don't really know why you'd want to do that. I'm going to select cell midpoint and, and then click OK. And that just moves everything to the, the middle. So I kind of like that better for this. And it, then it becomes harder to read that percentage. So I'm going to highlight and move the percentage to the the right. So I already have it set to the middle, but I think it looks best in the middle. And then as you adjust this column, it'll increase the bars to fit. So it's showing 100% going all the way. If we had somebody going over 100%, it'll just adjust everything to the max um, percentage. So let's see, our salary range max is 45. So if I put somebody with a salary over the max, let's see what it looks like. It, then it moves that 100% down and now we have the max at 138. So it's going to adjust to your data. And then one other thing I wanted to show you 
If you don't like how this looks, how the numbers are overlapping with the bar, you can also go to insert a column. We could put the percentage in one column and the bar in another, which I kind of like that idea. To try that out, what I would do is, well, first we'll remove the bar from this side. So you, to remove it, just go to clear rules from selected cells. And then we have the percentage. I'm going to move this back to the middle and I want the bar to appear in this column. I'm just going to do equal. Oh, it automatically kept the formatting. You would basically do equal to get the percentage in this column. And then if you hadn't added the bars in, you would follow the same steps to add your data bars. It's already added because when I inserted the column, it kept the formatting of what we just did. Now, what I want to do is now remove this percentage from this column so I can just see the bar next to it. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to highlight the column and go back to manage rules, edit rule, and show bar only, and then click OK. And then now we have this. Let me know what you think, which you like better, which is more visually appealing, I would maybe merge the position and range and possibly, I think it would look better if we don't have a negative. If you're going to keep it in separate cells, maybe, let me see, I think I like how it looks better if there's no negative value automatic. I think something like that would look better if you know you have no negatives and you want to show the percentage and then the bar next to it, that would look good too. But if you have the negatives, it kind of looks better within the same cell, but really it's personal preference. So those are a couple different ways that you can utilize these data bars in conditional formatting. So it definitely adds a visual element when you have a spreadsheet with a lot of data and numbers and you need it to be more visually appealing. Let me know in the comments which you like better, if you like the bar in two separate cells or the other way we had it before was the percentage in the bar within the same cell and the ability to show the negatives in a different color. And the bars will adjust depending on your length and width of how you set the column up. So I hope this helps. And if you are looking for more Excel spreadsheet tips, uh, check out the Excel spreadsheet tip playlist. And we also have some free resources you can find if you go to timesavingtemplates.com slash free resources, we have a free guide to get you started with Excel with some beginner videos. And then we also have some free templates that you can download. If you want to know more about the template that I show in this example, this is a salary increase template, um, which is part of our base pay bundle for HR or compensation professionals. I'll link to that in the notes, but you can find all the HR templates by going to timesavingtemplates.com, go to shop in the human resources section, and then you should be able to find the salary increase template there, as well as a free compensation metrics cheat sheet. We also have some free templates for small business and rental property. So until next time, don't forget, I'm here to help you streamline and save time when it comes to using Excel spreadsheets. So definitely feel free to go check out our free resources and like and subscribe so you can keep track of the next video. Thanks. Bye.